Hi guys, and from UK Fountain Pens, I want to take you on a little tour of this, the Manufacture Capillaris, which sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Um, this is a small titanium pen that retails at €835. Euros. I mentioned it in a recent blog post with a little write-up. Uh, it comes from Budapest, uh, a, a one-man band, uh, obsessive engineer, the best kind, um, has created this. Uh, to synthesize some of the um, the writing experiences that he likes best, uh, a lead holder, Rotring 600, various other pens. And what we have here then is is this uh, limited run. Uh, it is a all titanium beast from a very high grade of titanium with surface hardening, excellent finishing. Uh, there has been literally no expense spared on this pen. It is a small pen though. Um, here it is against uh, a Lamy 2000. Uh, the distinctive feature is that it has a very, very small cap. So when you uncap it, it ends up being almost exactly the same size. Um, in the hand, though, like if you know, this is a, against a capless, uh, it is not a big pen. Titanium is very light. Uh, it ends up feeling. Uh, not substantial in the sense of large or heavy, although it certainly feels substantial in the construction. Um, it doesn't make any difference to the weight or size when you post the tiny cap on the end. Uh, it's it's completely unnoticeable. Um, great for those of you who like uh, to post to get pens out of the way. Not so great for those of you who like to post to get extra weight and length to your pens. Um, the nib, as you can see, is a totally unbranded number five bock uh, with a plastic feed. The section unscrews to reveal uh, a standard international converter. Um, it's when you take the the pen apart that you really start to notice. Yeah, you know the excellent finishing on all the interior surfaces, on all the mating surfaces. It is spot on perfect. And certainly when it's assembled, you can see the, the seam here, but you can't feel it under your fingers. Uh, every edge is, is done perfectly. For me, um, it feels on the verge of being small in my hand, but good. I can certainly feel some of the ridges in between these facets uh, against my fingers. So for long periods of time, or when I'm gripping a bit tight, it can be uncomfortable. The titanium nib is uh, has a little bit of softness to it. It flows well uh, with that little bit of tooth. I can't write today. And there's certainly nothing in this pen in terms of its weight or its size that will cause you long-term fatigue. The cap is just a push-pull. There's you know, no hard click or anything as, as you... Uh, uh, push it home or, or pull it off um, it does however seal very well I haven't noticed any drying out in the time that I've had this pen so far there's an interesting design feature here which is that uh, the there is a lip um, and then a dome inside which is sort of not quite mirror polished but certainly polished same on this back end here um, so although it looks like a matte finished stick there's just that little bit of uh, visual detailing which is quite pleasing uh i've already mentioned the the potential interference of the facets on your on your hands there is one other little semi bug that i spotted which is if you can see here some ink uh when you fill the pen the, the nib is re recessed if you fill the pen by dipping um or even if the nib your pen just gets shaken and some ink spatters about that can transfer to the inside of the pen here and then onto the outside surface of that cap and if you put it down on your pad or you touch it against your hands you can get some ink transfer there the big question uh, that came up on instagram and will come up when i when i post a written review of this is uh, are you getting uh, good value for money for 835 euros and this uh, is a more philosophical discussion if you want uh, a a small batch unique design pen with absolutely top grade materials absolutely top grade machining 
then this is what it costs. Um, you know, Zolt, who uh, engineered this, he said the price, if anything, is going to go up, not down. Uh, we're not talking about economies of scale here. There are There's a lot of processes, uh, titanium blunts tools, all of that stuff. However, um, you can buy um, a Matthew Martin Makes pen or uh, pens from any number of machinists for well under 400 euros, so half the price of this one. Uh, including titanium pens. They may not be the same grade of titanium or with the same surface finishing, um, but this is not an EDC kind of pen anyway. It doesn't have a clip, doesn't have a screw-on cap, doesn't have O-rings. Um, this is meant to be the kind of pen that you put into your uh, jacket pocket or leave on your desk in a case. On paper, you're not getting any of the things that normally indicate value in a fountain pen. You're not getting precious metals. You're not getting uh, giant gold nibs. You're not getting an ebonite feed. You're not getting a piston filler. Um, you're not getting urushi. You're not getting a hand enameling. You're not getting a, a, a detailed um, clip with a roller. Uh, you're not getting uh, elaborate engraved cap bands. You're not getting uh, any of the unusual things that we we in fountain pens, the world of fountain pens normally look for as a way to justify spending lots of money on a pen. In fact, um, Zolt has engineered this to be almost as minimal as possible. Uh, you are getting facets, you are getting a tube, and inside you are getting a number five titanium nib, uh, which is off the shelf, a feed which is off the shelf, a converter which is off the shelf. So everything you're paying for is in how this tube has been engineered and the process of optimizing its size, its balance, its aesthetics. Um, that I find this quite an interesting discussion because it strips, uh, strips away all that artifice that we build up around justifying why we spend what we do on pens. Um, is a pen worth less because it is less ostentatious uh, if it doesn't show the... 200 hours of engineering that went into it um i i can't answer that question for you i know from the reactions that i've seen on instagram that some people will simply just not tolerate spending 800 euros on a metal tubular pen um, they want to see uh celluloid they want to see urushi they want to see gold uh, they want to see an integral filler um and i'm i have one foot in that camp uh, in the other camp i have spent decent money on things like um, this Ultem pen, uh, this Peak pen and Titanium pen, and I like uh, Simple Designs too, although the Auto Hood is not a great comparison because it does have an integral filler and lots of other engineering in it. Uh, so more thinking to be done on that, but I wanted to, in this video, show you the use of uh, you know how the cap works, um, show you the size and how it sits in the hand, compare it to some other pens, and I hope I've done that job as well as uh, introducing some of those issues for discussion. So there we go. Look out for a full review. I'd love to know your thoughts uh, in the comments as I work work out my, my feelings about this, Ben. So thanks very much for watching.